Good afternoon YouTube, it's Mark M0 VFT with an update. I'm going to show you something about this little gizmo that I've built this last week while you haven't heard me. I like to loop, it was easy to tune, using the reduction drives it made it so I could get a fine tune where I needed to be basically uh, between 6.1 megahertz and 26 and a half or something like that it covers but I decided that keep getting up and down was a, was a bit much so I made this thing here and this thing because it's not re relatively to do with this loop I decided that I could make it slightly gimmicky and a bit daft so you can it basically you can imagine what it does it's got two speeds 0 0.6 rpm and 1.2 rpm and this does the tuning left and right which turns the capacitor here is where you join on the uh, the wires to the capacitor and yet that is a solar panel that's just topping up trickle charge in the batteries inside because as you can imagine it's the motor is quite you have to tune a lot so I imagined that it's going to eat the batteries fairly fast and as I had this sitting in my junk box perfect why not hey so let me uh, show you how it works Sierra Papa, Poland. The lip's really low again. I'm just getting used to running it like this actually. I like this height. It's quite efficient. Let me show you what happens with the tuning. We picked a... Picked a... Oh, you can just hear someone then. We'll pick that, yeah. It's pretty noisy, yeah. Listen to the noise when I turn the dial. Here we go dropped right off here so if I, I now hold the dial there we go you hear that so now I've just picked it up for sound uh, yeah I'm, I'm happy with that but wait wow big signal very jolly guy. Right YouTubers, I'll show you how I'm going to manually tune it with this um, this little gizmo box then. I've got it on FM, it's on 2.5 watts. It's, I've got it set on SWR so it's going to show me what the SWR is. I'm going to flick the switch and attempt to stop it on the lowest SWR. Yeah and then all you can hear is a tractor. <laughs> oh, high SWR. Right, I'm on the box. Right, there we go. Three or four pushes of the dial managed to make me bring it down, allowed me to bring it down to zero. A uh, little tiny fine tuning, tiny amount of fine tuning. If I'm going the right way or not, there we go. So, yeah, just by flicking the switch, basically, I can um, tune the loop, which is sitting over there, from here. All right, let me go and show you how it actually works. So it's as it looks on here. This dial switches the speeds between 0.6 RPM and 1.2 RPM. This this basically changes the the polarity from positive negative to negative positive. And because it's a DC motor, it turns the rotor. It swaps the rotation. So basically, you can turn it one way and then uh, just push the button the other way, and it will turn it the other way. It goes slow enough at 0 0.6 RPM to be able to fine tune 1.1 on any of the bands that the loop covers. So yeah, it's just a bit of a lazy man thing really. You can just sit there and tent, twiddle the knob at the bottom, but this was really is designed for the ugly loop. Ah, the sun's come out. It's going to be charging my batteries. Yep, so that's a quick update. So, oh yeah, these uh, these yellow things. You recognise them? They're the yellow version of those black things up there. Yep. Um, 
number plate screws but they're there so when I put this if it's charged up and it's all done I need to stop charging I can stand it I can turn it upside down and it'll uh, it'll stop charging I didn't want it to scratch the uh, didn't want it to scratch the side of the panel but yeah so there it is there's my M0 VST's remote mag loop controller debris thingy thanks for watching guys M0 VST Mike Zero, Victor, Sierra Tango, QRP. Uh, Mike Zero, Victor, Sierra Tango, have a mantra. You're about 5 and 5, 55 today. My name is Damian. Uh, back to you, Mark Albert. Yeah, roger, roger, Damian. Um, you're my first contact on 17 metres on a very small, small mag loop. You're a good 5 by 9 plus, Damian. 5 by 9 plus into England. Uh, Sugar 52, Whiskey, Whiskey. Mike Zero, Victor, Sierra Tango, QRP, over. Yeah, 7 3, Damien. Bye bye. Thanks, Mark. Uh, the Sugar 5 to Whiskey Whiskey Kiosk. That was nice. There was a little bit of vestibular there. Something's just changed. I think I went up a little bit too high from where I was tuned. But um, yeah, it flashed 3 at some points then. So maybe a 1.3, maybe 1.4 SWR. Not brilliant, but Damien heard me there. Sugar 52, Whiskey Whiskey. So. Yeah, that's, 50, that's uh, 17 metres ticked off. Right, onwards. I think I'll make it there, he's actually got no signal, but we'll press on. The band's in not good shape today, but hmm. perhaps I'll, I'll leave it here, guys, actually, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll continue with the ugly loop, because this wasn't really even meant for this loop, but as you can see, it did work with this loop, so we'll call it quits there. Thanks very much for, uh, for watching. I'll go into this gizmo a bit more in detail in future videos, I think. It wasn't, com it wasn't complicated to make, and yeah. The only thing I had to source was a double pole, double throw switch. I had everything else sitting in the junk box. So yeah, that's quite easy. I think this, this solar panel came from a garden lantern, like a garden lamp, but which died. You know what I mean, the bulb went and it was rubbish. So yeah, I scavenged the solar panel off it before it disappeared. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I did. It, it works and it charges the batteries. So, from a not so sunny Norfolk, 7-3 guys. Oh yeah, watch this. Yeah, that's what I had going past early on. <laughs> bye bye, guys. M0 VST mark.